I'm going to help you to be free. What do I have to do? These are your weapons. When you take them, you begin your journey. Your journey to freedom. You will need five items for this journey. The first is a map, then fire, a knife, and a key. You said five things. The fifth thing is a mystery. It is the reason. It is the goal. It will be a deep sacrifice and a perfect victory. I... Only you can find it. And if you do, it will set you free. Oh, and one more thing. Defend yourself. Hey YouTubers, test test one here. Um, as I've done in my earlier video, uh, a, a surprise has come to me from my very good friend Marlo, which I, I love to death and um, love him even more now. <laughs> uh, I've got this beautiful box. Um, it's got a sexy looking looks like a suspender belt holding the box together so I can't actually get the sleeve off to undo the suspender belt <laughs> oh, I, yeah, that's, I've never seen a box like that but you've all said the tell you the truth I haven't seen a box unboxing of, of baby dolls I've only seen their reviews quickly on the on the figure itself I have never seen the suspender belt, so I'm totally, I've actually got to unhook it to get, unhook the box, that's really kinky and queer, <laughs> that's fucking strange, oh mate, I've never seen anything like that before, how original is that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. <laughs> now that that is fantastic the detail they put in the back pretty much playing on the sides yeah nothing special just the colouring in itself is a, a fantastic ok guys what I'm going to do I'm not going to show you pulling out the box and then showing you bits and pieces I'm just going to pull her out add some bits and pieces do some poses and just talk to her a bit and about her a bit and, and uh and hopefully don't bore you too much and uh, and show you uh, my gift from, from the man, MRA. Thanks very much, mate. And uh, yeah, let's do this bit. There you go. There you go, you can capture the beauty there. Ah, oh, that bleach blonde hair gets me. Great job of the hair. The styling is perfect. And then that, that, those eyes capture it. I want to get a real good close up if I can. And those eyes, look at that. And those lips. I don't know if you've seen her in that new movie. Well, it's quite old now, but Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> what a strange film that was. But uh, you get to see her in, uh, well, a lot less clothes than she is in now, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, the waistline in this uh, this actual figure is very good too, very close to the real character, and um, that surprises me. I didn't I didn't think it would be that good. Um, there you have the katana 
cover the star emblems on it air mach automatic machine gun I've, I have no idea what type of gun that is I'm not a gun specialist I'm afraid I don't think know my guns very well and uh, but that, that katana or samurai sword absolutely stunning and a l very short skirt which um, you can see your knickers <laughs> Uh, where is it? Ooh. <laughs> a bit of that backside there. And those stockings. I wish you had the actual suspender belts on the stockings, you know, it would have been a lot better to hold the stockings up. But you know that's fine, you can probably get something to a little bit of some sort of tack to keep them up. But uh, all in all those shoes are really cool. The shoes are absolutely excellent. All right, so you don't see many shoes on females, so I just, I just had to sort of like check these shoes out for quite some time because you know, very nice. Look at that. Looks like you can actually unbuckle them. I wouldn't even go there. But there you have a stunning figure. From my mate uh, MRA, who's a, an absolute bloody star. You've got a key, she's got a gun with all the little decorative pieces hanging off the handle. Uh, yeah, a couple of magazines on the side there. A nice um, plaited material uh, belt that goes to a katana. And I mean, just a really nice school outfit, I suppose you'd say it is. <laughs> but she's very, very nice. Oh, it's definitely a collectible to have, you know. I, I've been putting it off, putting it off, and and uh, and then this and this fella bloody shocks me and sends me one of these. You've been talking to someone. I know who you've been talking to. You wouldn't have got my dress any other way, you cheeky fella. <laughs> I know who you've been talking to. Anyway. Base is great. Baby doll. Wow. Let's have a good look at the sword. Go steady the hands. Wow. Yeah, she comes with a few hands, sets of hands. Um, you know, I'm not going to show you them unless you, you, know, you. There's plenty of videos being done on this bird to to know how many hands it comes with. I just wanted to show you the the actual beauty of her face. You know, it's wow. It's just so much like the actress. And uh, yeah, she comes with a a lot of goodies. You know underrated figure really I, I reckon Un very underrated the movie was underrated and the yet yeah, the figure was underrated you know I just let's um, just once you get in, having in hand you certainly appreciate a lot more you know, it's just pure sexiness to tell you the truth it's really she's super sexy super sexy and it's, I'm, I'm so proud to have this in my collection and uh, display this and uh, yeah, and uh, once again, thank you, uh, MRA. Um, okay, guys, I'm just going to quickly show you my sword that I have. I've heard the same as hers. And um, I call it quits on this video. Wow. Beautiful. Quick spin around. Quick spin around. Woohoo! <laughs> Ah, oh, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. If you guys haven't got one out there and you can, well, can afford it, um, luckily for, for me, I didn't have to buy it. And and uh, if you can, it's a, it's a definitely a must have. And uh, and I hope you get it. Okay guys. Oh sorry guys, I missed one thing out. Um, 
That's the that's the uh, the carry case for the scrolls that she was carrying in the movie. Really, really detailed. Actually, I, I actually opened it up to see if there's any scrolls in it. <laughs> but no, there's no any scrolls. You could probably do a few of your own and just wrap them up and chuck them in there if you wish. But yeah, really good details to that. Yeah. Beautiful. No, it's not the genuine thing, but um, no, it's still attractive just the same. I have um, sharpened it somewhat and I uh, still need to, to finish off the sharpening process but it's very sharp at the moment. Not genuine leather handle but uh, I would like to eventually make a we'll get a leather one made. Yeah, this is the baby uh, from the baby doll movie. I'll just give you a good, good close up. So I'll show you the other way around because some of the inks come out of the sword. It's a very pretty pattern. So it's sticking into my fingers right now. It's just quite sharp. It's, uh, I'm down the side of the house. Um, I couldn't. I tried to do a video at the. Back near my pool, but I it was too bright and I had and it's too much exposure. So there you have it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah my my uh, this I'd like to stick up on the wall eventually, and um, along with my I have a few other swords that I've bought over the oh, about a year and a half ago. I bought these swords. And uh, eventually, I'd like to stick them on the wall. Probably make a feature like a some of them are back carriers, so I'd like to make uh, some foam backs with the appropriate material that the actors wore on the back or half a back and hang the swords from them and stick them on the wall. And uh, well, that's my future plan anyway. I should be able to do it this year, I'm hoping. Um, again, thanks. Thanks very much, Marlo MRA, for the, uh, the the beautiful gift and the thought. And um, I'll be I'll definitely be smacking out that super cool bloody Bigfoot Harry, which no one has got, not yet anyway. But you'll be getting the first. You get a few copiers after that. You watch. But uh, yeah, had a had a really good surprise when I got home and thoroughly enjoyed it. It's made my day. And now I'm going to have a few celebratory drinks for this. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, appreciate it very much. Okay, guys, time for go. Test just one out. Catch ya.